In this video, we will show you how to repair a canalicular laceration using a monocanalicular silicone intubation system. It is done under local infiltration anesthesia in the office or emergency department. The equipment needed is a basic ophthalmic plastic suture set, the mini monoca and the inserter. The local anesthetic use is xylocaine, 2% with epinephrine for hemostasis. Be sure to have available all necessary equipment, including the inserter, which we see here demonstrated. You must also have good lighting and magnifying loops, which are essential for this type of repair. The mini monoca comes in a sterile single-use pack, as shown here. After the patient has been cleared from associated ocular trauma, the area of laceration is closely inspected. Using Q-tips, it is possible to inspect the area near the canalicular system. As we can see, the area medial to the punctum has been lacerated in this patient. A scleral shell is essential, allowing the patient to be more comfortable and prevent damage to the cornea during the surgery. The punctum is dilated using a regular punctal dilator. We can see that the punctal dilator is visible through the distal cut end of the canaliculus. Using a number one Bowman probe, the canaliculus is clearly shown to be lacerated approximately three to four millimeters from the punctum. Drying the area in the medial part of the, can in, of the canthal angle, it is possible to find the distal cod end of the canaliculus. The Bowman probe can be inserted into the cut end and gently manipulated into the lacrimal sac. Here we can see the silicone mini monoca as it comes out of the box. We feel that cutting the tip allows for easier insertion into the canaliculus during the surgery. We gently insert the cut end into the punctum, push it into the canaliculus, and retrieve it through the cut end. Using the inserter, it is necessary to press the small ledge on the end of the plug to anchor the tube in the punctum. We can see the plug sitting flush with the canaliculus and the punctum in this area. The cut end of the silicone tube is then inserted into the distal end of the cut canaliculus. Sometimes some resistance is encountered and it is necessary to try several times before it feeds into the lacrimal system. Here we see the, the silicone tube sitting comfortably within the lacrimal sac. Several fivovicral sutures on a P2 needle are passed through the medial canthal tendon area to reattach the cut end of the lid. We try to place one above the cut canaliculus and one below. The position of the plug is checked to make certain that it is within the lacrimal lake. Here we see the second suture being placed.
at the end of the procedure, the lid should be in excellent anatomic position, with the punctum in its normal position within the lacrimal lake. It is unusual to need more than two sutures to hold the lid in place. The skin can be closed with an absorbable suture, such as a 6-0 plain suture, which will dissolve within five to seven days. All associated lacerations should be repaired at the same time. An antibiotic steroid ointment combination is used.